Math 1, practice 4.2.3, analyzing residuals. Okay, to understand the density of deer population, Lewis counts the deer in different areas of a forest. He records the deer in each portion of the forest below. So, create a scatter plot showing the deer population in each acreage using that table. Then we want to graph this as our line of best fit on the scatter plot and decide does it appear to be a good line. We'll use a residual plot to do that. So, let me pull up our graph. So, we made the scatter plot, did the line of best fit, okay, so it looks like it could be linear, okay, what else were we supposed to answer? Okay, so does it appear to be a line of good fit? So we're looking down here at the residual plot, we're looking for a randomized, okay, now it kind of has a little bit of a pattern, I would say it's probably not the best line of fit, but I would say it's alright, okay. It would work. I think we could come up with a better line to do that if we let the calculator do it. But for now, it's not too bad. Let's see when it looks really bad. So Skylar has a savings account. So she records it. So we want to create a scatter plot, and then we use this equation right here in the scatter plot. And are asking, is it a line of good fit? And we use a residual plot to do that. So let me pull that one up. So here we are with this one. Okay. Now notice, it looks like it's a good line of best fit, but what do we notice about this? See that pattern? We don't want to see that. Even though this looks like it could be a good line of best fit, I think it's probably more exponential. And so this linear, when we see that pattern, like a smiley face or a U or the other way around, that's not good. We don't want to see that. Okay? So let's take a look at the last ones. So once again, and basically what I've been doing is I've been taking all this data, I've been putting it into our calculators, I've been making a scatter plot, and then typing in their line of best fit, and then doing a residual plot to check that. Okay? So let's take a look at this one, same question. So distance in miles, training for a marathon. So let's see what we got. Now this one's a bit tricky because I actually did type the line of best fit in. The line of best fit is like clear up over there. You can't even see it. Okay? So it's definitely not going to be the line of best fit. And look what happens on our residual plot. Okay, all our dots. Notice how far they are away. That is a pattern. That is definitely not your line of best fit right there. Okay, so pretty simple to see that um, using the calculator, we can do that. Now, just to remind you, we add the list and spreadsheets, type in our data, then we go to data and statistics, then I hit menu, add plot, type in the plot number, then we go menu, analyze residual plot, pulls that up, and that's what we've been using to, to look at things. So, kind of a short one, but when we're using the calculator, it kind of does all the hard work for us, so we're able to just analyze.